senior at Northwest High School. Huskies! And I wrote this poem a couple days ago, and it's sort of the building blocks of who I am. I've heard it a thousand times, the whispers. Is that chick's anorexic, or does she just not know what a 10-piece from KFC is? The untimely retorts. Be careful when you walk past that girl in the corner. She might steal your purse. Another idiotic spiel. And then you see the surgical <coughs> scars on my neck, and right before you immerse yourselves in questions, I turn on the robotic answering machine in my head, saying, gastroschisis is a birth defect, where a baby is born with their insides outside their body. And still, <laughs> but blinded by the lens of hypocrisy, you still continue to judge me. A five-year-old shouldn't have to wonder about people seeing a leak spring from her tummy every time she's forced to eat, tainting her clothes. I shouldn't have had to fight for my life every time I was forced to lay on a cold operating table believing that every surgery would be my last. You still don't see me, but you still think you do. But you didn't see the abuse, not the scars painted across my flesh, but the wounds cracked into my soul, mentally, physically, emotionally, crumbling the mountain of confidence, obliterating my self-esteem. Left with the questions, who am I? Why should I exist? Cutting into the chocolate skin on my wrist with lies. Oh, it's fine, she's just got a little white girl trapped inside. You know, behind the nappy hair and them dark brown eyes. Oh, it's okay, let's ignore the survivor and just acknowledge the labels we've obviously stapled into her being. I belly flopped into a pile of suicide letters, stretching from, it's not your fault to, I guess it is your fault to, life's too much to, I'm about to use this cord to asphyxiate myself to the happiness I've been longing for. You still don't see me. Even when my life changed forever, see, nobody noticed when my fake giggles, be nobody noticed when the fake giggles became my chain mail and the positive attitude that you hated so much was my armor. See, I decided to change the contents of my outsides because I realized that that was all you cared about. I decided to turn every scar into a smile, every weight-filled comment into an exaltation of joy. From that day on, my false face became the only face you would ever see. Because I realized that the inside was the only part meant for me. Mm.